What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to another video by me, Dina. Okay, K pop stand since 1998. Debbie. Answers. What's up? Um, it's up to y'all in general who may not be answers but are watching this reaction video. It's been a little bit of a while since I filmed. I mean, that's kind of a lie because I did have a reaction for Lisa's new woman. Uh, but as far as my usual, I guess, content flow, I feel like it's been a while. And I did finally, for once, did film my check-in video. I do a check-in video where I kind of just, you know, get real with y'all about things, whether it's just the way I'm feeling, my health, uh, y'all who have, like, been, uh being updated with my shit, like off of K-pop, know that I do struggle with a couple of chronic illnesses. And um, uh, the check-in videos are also like, I think for me to just let y'all know what I plan to do from this point on, hence check-in. Um, but yeah, I explain more in my check-in video with why my content flow has been very uh, scarce. Is that a word I'm looking for? Sparse? Sporadic? One of those s words um but anyway that's for the checking video this video is for nmix's comeback with pyal, 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 pyal. okay so i'm really hard like saying that your with anything with the l or r it's hard for me to enunciate um but to make it easier uh it's see that so uh yeah as i'm filming right now the video is out and the performance video so y'all know what i'm gonna be doing music video first and then a the performance video and i may watch the music video twice because the first time is never for the lyrics although i always intend for it too but y'all know with nmix with the crazy like mix pop that they do it's a lot it's a lot to take in that first watch and first listen so um i'm excited though because y'all who've been watching my nmix videos and especially over my patreon know that i have very quickly uh, went from being like a casual and mix appreciator to a baby answer to now a full on answer. So, um, with that being said, what is Bial 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 <laughs> or see that is going to be all about? Well, there's only one way to find out, which is for me to shut up and hit the play button. Music video first for N mixes. See that. Things are feeling dark. <gasps> Bay with the short one. Oh, we're starting kind of soft. Okay, I need to turn this up a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this is very darkish. Kind of like. What is. Okay, okay, so you in the middle. Okay, this has like underground hip hop to it. Whoa. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. What's this meaning? Cute. Cute. Whoa. What? Okay, this is definitely hip hoppy. Ooh, the harmony there. Wow. What? 
the vocals is different. Oh! 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 oh. The, 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 the choreographer me! Hey! Hey! And this like, this, this heart, the, like, the humming, oh. Huh? Crack the lens. What is that? This is supernatural type shit. What is that? Okay, we're at the end. So, that means that we need to go right back to the beginning because... Again, I didn't focus on any of the lyrics. I tried, as usual. So, this is a very interestingly different approach with NMIX. Because, like, with mix pop, I mean, actually, no, I take it back. Because there were a lot of, like, mixing here and there as far as different sounds and genre. But I feel like the, kind of like this old school vibe of a hip-hop-ish, whatever I just said, um, like a bit of a canvas was kind of laid underneath all of the layers that were introduced in and out throughout this song. So um, I like that. I like that we had this bit of a canvas to kind of keep the structure together. Uh, but they had like the whole little bit of an experiment with throwing the different parts here and there. But the whole song remained very hip hop for me. And um, again, that's, uh, act I mean, part of it almost... Like, I almost want to say it reminds me of Dash, but a more hip-hop version of Dash. Because Dash, you know, we had, like, that was a crazy mix-up. And mix-up. Um, if y'all did watch my reaction to that, I definitely overreacted to that. This was a very interestingly different experience uh, as an answer. And a very wonderful experience. If y'all watch my reaction videos at all, I don't know if this is, like, your first video um, um, on my channel at HR Canal or whatever, but I am definitely a lot more into the hip hop alley and especially the dark horror type alley. So seeing all these like horror type elements, the, I don't know, entities of children, the water kids, I don't know what they were. Um, and then like even the humming, it kind of just gives like that, you know, eerie kind of feel, which I love. Um, okay, okay. Why am I... Um, Mr. Burns in my finger right here. Let's go do a second time. Okay, so this is um, where I will uh, pause and, you know, catch up with my life and talk about the lyrics and try to decipher what I'm experiencing. The choreography, though. Like, I am so glad we have performance video for me to check out the full choreography. It looks sick as shit. They look sick as shit. Okay, shut up. Second time is where I will pause and talk about what I want to talk about. Yeah, so everything seems kind of like manic here. All the red X's. Don't mind, just do it. Yeah. Okay, like they all look great, but you know, like I'm, I'm gonna point out Bay, like this short platinum blonde, and even like the bleached eyebrows look is so like, I don't know why I want to say this, but it's so high fashion. Well, why do I want to say high fashion? Maybe it's because Bay is making it high fashion. I love that blonde on Jiwoo. Like, she looks so, here, I'm gonna try and pause the screen. This is so, like, I'm kidding. The more I'm getting into this, the more I'm like, they are, look at this contorted type shit right here. Like, this is so right up my alley. Again, if y'all watch my stuff, y'all know that this would definitely be right up my alley. Starting with this slow melt, this like gaze towards the camera and just all cool looking. Yeah. The monster. Can you okay, okay. Painting black polish on a broken nail. Okay, like that little bit of choreography right there. Huge. And... Okay, so why did my face feel so... Like, I felt like I held so much tension in my face. Um, 
So talk about the black nail polish on broken nail. Untangling earphones, like untangling my messy hair. Sounds, everything sounds kind of rebellious so far. Cute. Wait, can I put, try and pause on her teeth? Okay, uh, where, where's the, there it goes. I finally, is that braces? Oh, stars. Star braces. Uh, anything with braces just gives me trauma because I had braces from 6th grade to ninth grade. Uh, but they're making it look cool with the stars. If they had stars back in the day, it would have made my pain, I guess, more bearable. But very interesting look here. Okay, okay, babe. A rise of glow in the dark. Okay, that goes with the stars thing. Not your stereotype. I love that we had the screwdriver flying around and I was all scared and all of a sudden, hey, one catches it like, don't worry, I, I got you, Tina. We're good. Okay, let me go back a little bit. Oh, 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 the, it was a brick. Hold on. So it was a brick that turned into like a star, an apple. Am I tripping? Let me use, uh, cause now that I finally figured out how to do like frame by frame, Is that the NMIX bubble globe thing? Entity? Because it turns it turns into a screwdriver, so I don't know. I think. Okay, the morning rise, sun rises, and we hide. Okay, this feels metaphoric. I'm getting metaphoric, like hella metaphoric ish. This part is so cool. Like something very just cool about it. Everyone will look at us and criticize. Criticize. Oh, kind of like that humming is eerie, but really cool. It's a very interesting uh, vocal part, whatever you want to call it, layer to put in between what? Pre-chorus and chorus? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Very interesting, like the metaphors of saying, who are these weirdos and saying that we're, even though I was like, or in the verses, I was like, ooh, this is giving like rebellious. Um, the lyrics so far are highlighting that they are like the perspective of the lyrics is not within the norm or the expected of society. And typically people would see those, like the people that are within the perspective of the lyrics as the weirdos, but the weirdos are calling the ones, you know, not minding their business, the weirdo. So, that, okay, that's interesting. I like this. Uh-huh. See, here's where we go into like a little bit of a mix, right? But I still, uh, what I was saying after my first reaction that there's like a canvas or like a foundation of like a specific old school vibe is still going throughout this, even though we mixed into a different kind of feel here. Erase the square box. Hey, okay, okay. Hey, that's where there's a lot of like, um, hold on, cute, cute. Look, look, look at Suyun, just like leaning back like MJ style, like it's normal, but to go with the whole thing that I'm getting with them being who they yeah okay perspective of the lyrics I think is really highlighting about like being be who you want to be even if like other people will look at you as weird or different who cares like at least you're still you you know will you let me be like uh, I, okay I like that a lot uh-huh uh-huh uh-huh, 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 cute, hey, one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That it is so cinematic and creepy. Look at that. Like, that is so, that is so cool. Okay, seriously, cinematic. 
and this is random, but I really love the highlight here on her cheek and the eyebrow bone. Anyway, shut up. Here we go. This look, seriously. Oh, I just, it just kind of clicked to me why the braces would be an aspect because, and I'm remembering this because I mentioned like the trauma whenever I had braces from sixth to ninth grade. Uh, like, and I'm, I'm very open about this because I've learned to, I guess, rise from that period of my life. Um, but I was severely bullied in middle school. And um, one of the elements of why is because I had braces and nobody else did at my school at the time. So I was made fun of a lot for braces. So that's interesting that the braces element was brought in here, but in like a bling bling type of way. Is when you say bling bling kind of like pointing out my millennial ass uh, era self? But anyway, I hope y'all get what I mean. Seriously, this look is everything. And Lily with the eyeliner, like I know she wears eyeliner, but something about like the, you know, kind of smoky look eyeliner top and bottom with the bangs and this look. So cool. Ooh. Hey. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I love that. Stay away, you can't hold us down. And it makes sense that they're flying and then, like, you know, running up what at first I thought it was like a building, but now it, the way it, uh, rotate almost like she's running on water everything's very weird or different or stands out but again going with the perspective of the lyrics this look is so cool hold on let me uh, i just want to uh go to a different screen pause to be respectful but this is very cool like this them be, look like they're almost floating because there's the om this almost looks like there's like no floor but it's the reflection and these like uh what ravens black birds but they're also within it too Ooh, th that definitely gives spooky dark elements let's let's go back to the beginning of the dance break they look so pretty seriously Uh-huh, uh-huh. Shh. Boy, Soo Yoon ends that. Is everything. Ooh, taking the star, reminding her of the star within her. Yeah, that's a star. Haewon's makeup. Okay, shut up about the makeup. Anyway, I love that. Hey, hey, seriously, the footwork. Okay. Gosh, the very cool choreography. The uh, eerie humming, Sunya looking all uh, sassy, attitude y. She cracks the lens. It goes out of focus. And when we go back in focus, we're s okay, I'm seeing entities here too. Because first I was just seeing them here and here. But seriously, what are they supposed to be? What are they supposed to be? You would think that I would like figure this shit out by now being a horror movie. I, I like how I thought me pausing every like half second would help me figure it out. Okay, I love, hold on, let me let the video play through because I have this in playlist format where the performance video will come right after. Ow. Okay, okay. Before we get into this, do we need the CCs for this? Mm, maybe not, right? Yeah, because we already watched it the second time and analyzed the lyrics, at least from my perspective of it. Um, yeah, I really, re I really love the song. Hearing it a second time, it definitely gives me like, um, I mean, it's definitely end mix, right? Mix pop. 
Um, but it's also reminiscent for me of a first gen group that I really love uh, called HOT. And I'm, I would think that y'all would know who HOT is. Y'all might not like know of their songs or the music videos, but might know of them. Um, but yeah, HOT has different sides of them. And there's like this kind of underground hip hop feel to it, to them. So this kind of gives me that too as well. So of course, this is going to be right up my alley. Me being a retired hip hop dancer, right up my alley. Horror movie, right up my alley. And just the choreography and just the hardcoreness. It, it's very admirable to me. Very different. Uh, different, but at the same time, uh, still very in mix from this answer's perspective of uh, my experience with being an answer so far. And the perspective of the lyrics I really like. And again, like me... I mentioned that I was bullied uh, in middle school, a little bit in high school, but specifically started in middle school. A lot of elements with why, like the braces was just one thing. Another thing was that uh, I, I'm, I'm going to try and say this without like triggering anyone who's dealt with bullying, but I was fat shamed uh, saying that I was too full figured for an Asian girl and my hair is not naturally straight and they would make fun of me for that. I, w- I was very tan, like I, I think I'm still a little bit tan now, but it's definitely lightened because I have to stay away from the sun. Thank you, Lupus. But uh, I'm naturally very tan, being Cambodian, and I was made fun of for that. So, um, and also not just that, me being 40, I will definitely say that I've gotten my fair share of people being like, why aren't you this yet? Why aren't you that yet? Like, you know, what society, I guess, would typically expect from a 40-year-old woman, right? So, uh... I am definitely one to vouch for the perspective of the lyrics being something that I respect and admire. All right, all right, all right. I'm going a little bit too much into this talk here because uh, we got a performance video to check out. So let's do this. I won't treat this like a dance practice because I will assume that NMIX will release an official dance practice where I can like analyze it in full detail. So um, yeah, let's just watch this for fun, like for the fun effects. So ow, here we go. Ooh. Seriously, that melt is everything. Ooh. Ooh, just different uh, perspective. The side perspective? So liquidy. Hey. Hey, the rise up. Arm swings and shit. Oh, the little bit of isolation here. Oh, seriously, an isolation. Okay, okay, so you with the. Oh, they rolled out that. That. Mm. <laughs> Technique is shown. Hey. Clean. Hey. I love how the song flows. It flows so well. And this choreography going in and out like that. Hey, 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 okay. Cute. Mm. Hey. I love the silent five, six, seven, eight. Okay, okay. Uh huh. You better, Lily. This whole level change shit, I love it so much. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this perspective of the lens. Hey, hey, the add-on. Damn. Ooh, the isolation. <laughs> the technique. They melt the melt of the vocals. Oh. 
Oh. The swaggy leg shit. Oh, the effect, the footwork. I am Shuketh. Shuketh. Sh what's the word? It's, I don't even think that's used anymore. But I remember when it first came out, I was like, why do I like the sound and feeling of Shuketh? Something about it just uh, is dramatic, but fits the dramatics that I feel right now after seeing that performance video. Oh my God. I'm like, ugh, I want to watch it a second time and like say everything that I like in the choreography and everything. But I also want to save those details for the dance practice. Um, and which I will be uh, analyzing dance practices more frequently from this point on. I explained in my check-in video with why I've held back with dance practices the last something months or so. Uh, but back to the point of this. And Mix killing it with this like dark old school hip hop kind of feel and the choreography. Like and Mix has always been like the masters of choreography since their debut basically. Um, but they just keep getting better and better. And I just love this like kind of loose kind of feel, but yet they're all still very structured and clean, but uh individually showing like their own kind of swag. And I always say that's this that Within a group, whether it's a boy group or a girl group, when I see uh, that a group kind of starts to show individual swag, like their own individual flair of how they move, to me, that shows that they, that to me, that shows their experience, that they're getting comfortable. They're figuring out their own kind of uh, performance flair, but still sticking within the cleanliness of the group and technique everywhere like the isolation the everything those swaggy legs i'm excited for the dance practice obviously i don't know if y'all can tell that but okay and mix i am loving this bial, bial, bial. see that era i'm excited to see what the album sounds like but anyway uh answers are you know casual viewers if you waited for me to finally get to and mix to see that music video and a performance video here with me my youtube thank you very much i appreciate your patience and understanding with me trying to balance out my real life with k-pop content life anyway i hope you have a great day and until the next video coming up peace I would like to say an extra thanks to my Captain Jack Sparrows over on my Patreon for the extra support. You are the savviest. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen.